Hey everyone, Dan from Water Life Pets. Just completed the install, the build and install of my nine, nine 20 gallon long tank rack. It's pretty stout. It's pretty amazing. Pretty exciting to have it all done. Coming over here, we've got some elephant ear Dumbo guppies and just some small fry, two mommies, the daddies in another tank not in this room and then next tank down we got some albino corridora and some gold guppies and uh, small fry gold guppy small fry and they're just in there to keep them from uh, eating the small fry for a minute I'll let them out soon next tank down we've got some fancy guppy long fin small fry. Over, we've got Madagascar rainbow, which I love. I think they're so cool. There's a male right there. There's a female, male, male female and this yeah i'm pretty sure that's a male oh, where'd he go there camera shy up from there in the middle we've got our keely fish there's a female and then the males over here and they've been spawning pretty sweet up from there in the middle we don't have anything in here yet nothing in this tank yet or this tank or this tank so what I want to point out is that these are all aquarium co-op sponge filters I'm gonna upgrade to their heaters at some point right now I had I found a good deal $20 for uh, 10 heaters on uh, online on just on uh, Craigslist actually so I picked up uh, 10 or I think it was 11 heaters for uh, $20 and I put them in here and I know that they go out and they're used and everything so that's why I'm going to be upgrading to the aquarium co-op heaters that tell you after like a year and a half or whatever it is that they're getting ready to go out you can replace them because I'm getting some I'll, some of the uh, L046 plecos the zebra plecos in here uh, like in a couple weeks and some long fin albino bristle nose uh, plecos. So that'll be fun. So what I have is this whole thing is set up on an automatic water change system. And the tanks, so you can see you're filling up right here. So the water comes in through those lines, comes into all the tanks. And then right here you have the drain so the water fills up goes to the drain you can see it on this one maybe if there's no reflection in the glass or plants in the way one of these will work <laughs> they've all got plants in them but you can see this one down here will work good oh there's a leaf i put some uh indian almond leaves in there but the water overflows, goes down to the drain. They all drain down these tubes right here. And then into the sewer line through a PVC. So I drilled the tanks, all nine of them. And then they drain down these tubes into the PVC collection down through P-trap. At the other end, I have a cap I can take off and pour some vinegar down. If I ever want to rinse this out a little bit, just the drain line. Um, I got my electrical bar installed. I'm probably not even going to use this white one. I don't need it. It's just there. Uh, so I have airlines coming in. Airlines coming in from the other side of the wall as well. Go into all of the sponge filters. And I wanted to upgrade to that $230 pump that Corey at Aquarium Co-op sells to run this system right now. The same guy I got the heaters from, I got a couple pumps from, and another guy I got another tank from. 
I got a free $40 pump from, so I've got those two running and it's powering it uh, with just enough air for everything. See that? And this one and this one are all at the end of the line. So this one's the weakest, but it's still adequate. So pretty excited. Threw a few plants in here. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna do any substrate. So I wanna get mostly Java moss and uh, um, plants that feed off of the water instead of out of the dirt or out of a substrate. So I might end up switching some of these out. I just put them in there for a minute to put them someplace because I cleaned out my other tanks and didn't have any place for them just right this second. So, all right guys, got my, oh yeah, I don't forget to mention my thermometers. Gotta keep the water just right for whatever fish. Some fish like it cooler, some a little bit warmer. Now the bottom three are gonna be my uh, red shrimp, blue shrimp, blue velvet, and my yellow, my gold shrimp in there. And those temperatures will be a little bit cooler. Or maybe I'll put them in with the guppies because they don't mind a little bit cooler temperatures. We'll see the Keeley fish. Anybody have an opinion? I'm gonna have the Keeley fish in this tank with, uh, you know what? I might move them. Or what I'll do is I'll use this tank over here for my zebra pleco. I'll, I'll put my zebra pleco in their own tank. And then, uh, Hopefully I can spawn all of these that you've seen and have some success. I've got some blue neon tetras in the garage and a 10 gallon tank, I'm gonna be spawning them. I put, uh, I'll do another video on that. So anyway, the lights, these were off AliExpress from China, $10 each. So $90, $100 for all the lights. And they're not gonna be on all the time. They don't suck a lot of power because they're LED. So that's it guys. Let me know if you have any questions. I have another video posted about the automatic water change system on the backside of the wall. So enjoy that. Take care.